success stories. I am here with the amazing Risa Eisen. Um, Risa came to me through a mutual uh, friend or she heard me do a talk through Wendy White Mm -hmm. and um, dear friend and and wonderful consultant, my friend, Wendy White. And she heard what I was talking about and contacted me afterwards. You know, that's, I had a pilot program that was going at the time. She goes, yeah, I'd like to to do those. I think I was launching the app or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, well, and we talked and, and Risa said that she didn't have that much to lose, but she had some other goals that I'll have her tell you about. And it's mm-hmm. been a, not a conventional reboot journey by any stretch of the imagination, but we've had a wonderful time, gotten to be great friends, which I enjoy as part of what I do is the friendships I make with the people that I serve is such a reward. And Risa is a jewel in that crown. And I'm going to let her tell you about it, but welcome Risa and congratulations you. on your results and everything. Thank um, you. So happy to be here. So what initially made you want to do the program? What was it about what I talked about that interested you to want to look further? So I think there are two things. Um, one was that I really had been focused on losing at least 10 to 20 pounds and had been miserably unsuccessful so when you talked about the program and it looked like I could actually you know accomplish that goal that was very appealing and the other thing is that I've had very long-standing GERD acid reflux Mm. and I was I've been on you know Nexium and, and medications for years and years and years and I knew from my past experience that weight loss would really make a difference to the GERD. But also, you know, the goal was to maybe get off all medication. Mm -hmm. And uh, so so that really appealed to me because you talked about not only weight loss, but the whole holistic approach that would affect many different aspects of my life. And I thought, well, I think it's a great opportunity. Well, I'm glad that you did because it really, your body took to it very well. It did. Um, Risa was part of a pilot program when the Reboot 2.0 app came along and we were releasing the 12 week program. Mm -hmm. And uh, like Risa, a lot of the clients who come to the Reboot have not only weight loss goals, which wasn't an, it's not like you had 110 pounds to lose or something. There was some weight issues, but the question was, was there some inflammation? You know, what was there about what was going on with you because GERD is an inflammatory disease. Mm-hmm. It's a, a type of autoimmune response that your body's having. So like look like what are the food habits? What are the inflammatory habits? But you also had some travel that you were looking at doing right. and wanted to be able to do that as well without all the consequences. Can you tell us about your trip that this amazing trip that you took? Well, it, it was amazing. Um, my husband and I were in France and we were in Lyon for eight days and then in Paris for four days. And mm-hmm. having been in Paris before, I was really excited and also, you know, a trip after COVID. Um, but I also knew that it was going to be really hard to avoid those buttery croissants and the coffee and, the, you know, mm-hmm. all the things that you think of when you think of France and, right. and cafes and cheese so, and wine and baguette. Wine, yes. <laughs> yeah. and, and sauces like, you know, mm-hmm. French cooking can be very, um, rich. Full of sauce yeah. Rich. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, I, I thought if you and I could actually talk about a way of navigating that so that I wouldn't completely get off the wagon, but you know, you, you're so good at this idea of like, if you're going to change the steps even temporarily um you know do it mindfully and enjoy enjoy that croissant and know that you can get back on the program you know the very next day if you right. want and so yeah really- but there is a difference between making a supportive choice making a a rational decision to have the croissant mm-hmm. or whatever it is you're going to have right. and enjoy it and there might be some consequences on the scale or in your health or with your GERD or whatever, and just accept that. But just to make a decision, I am going to have that 
makes it so different than I'm just going to go on a bender, you Mm -hmm. know, Mm -hmm. that you can actually, this is a plan for life. And that's one of the things. And looking back through your documents, when we got started, it's like, I want something that's going to be the last thing I do. That's a diet type something. And I just want to learn how to treat myself better because I think I'm doing things how did you put it? I think I'm doing things that I think are healthy, but I guess they're not because I'm not reaching those. Like right. you wanted to learn how to right. function exactly. this thing. Yeah. Exactly. It really was a, a learning process. And mm-hmm. what I was able to retain. So even though I came back from France and I probably gained about two pounds, which really, you know, really wasn't a disaster. Um, because I learned about fat burning versus sugar burning. And I learned, you know, the foods that I could get right back to, um, I did. And I went back to the free trip weight. Um, so that was great. Again, feeling like I, I can do this with a few tweaks here and there. And I didn't feel like I had to deprive myself. So you know, coming back was, was, uh, was pretty simple. And I didn't feel I had to now do a whole other major change. Right. So I really appreciated that. Well, you, you took to it very well. And Risa has a very calm and direct approach with things. She doesn't go flying around and doing stuff. (laughs) It's like, okay, Sheila, now what should I do today? (laughs) Uh Uh And um, you had some other trips and social events you're doing. You're in a time in your life where you're going out and you're doing a lot of these things with you and your husband Uh and wanted to be able to go out to social circumstances, go to the dinner party with your friends, have people over for the holidays and not feel like you can't participate in those things or womp womp and Debbie Downer. I'm over. It's, you know, I want you to have an effortless relationship with food in your body where you've made peace with it. You know how it works, Mm -hmm. enjoy Mm -hmm. it. You know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And that you're never going to go back to being pre reboot. Risa. I mean, it would be hard to do that. Now, how's your, how's your GERD? What happened? How long did that take to improve? Um, Almost right away, it improved. I think I was letting you um, know at that point that I didn't have the exact GERD symptoms. It was more like indigestion rather Mm. than pain. Um, And at this point, I'm still taking some of the Nexium, but I'm not taking it nearly as often as I did. Mm before and I find that it's you know the dilemma which still needs to be answered is I just I love coffee and if I have coffee and I don't take the Nexium it can have some breakthrough but again it's Mm. never gone back to the original pain oh that's good the pain is gone um but my body kind of signals me like "Mm." not so fast. This is not really good for you. So, so if I spread it out and I don't, you know, I don't indulge every single day. And again, that, that way of knowing I can take control, I can have it. I have to really know that if I have it, I may experience that indigestion, but I haven't really had too many symptoms lately. So I think, you know, it's, it's kind of regulated, which is, which is fabulous. It is. And in terms of feeling like you made an investment and it was worth it, do you feel being part of the reboot was really something worthwhile that you do again? Had you the chance to do it back then? Oh, definitely. I I would say that the thing I loved the most about the program was having a chance to meet with you you know, once a week with the, with the group, whoever was present and being able to talk about some of the information Mm -hmm. so that I could get some clarity and I could understand more, you know, what I was doing and why I was doing it. And so Mm -hmm. those, those individual contacts with you were invaluable. Yeah. For anybody listening, um, once a week, there's a group session, which we limit. And I curate these groups with people who have things in common or in a similar part of their journey. And everybody gets around 15 or 20 minutes to go over their, their progress. I do some, you do some homework. I do some homework and we come together and discuss what your week was like, what your challenges are, 
what your challenges coming up are. We did a lot of planning for your different trips. And so what's right. happening. So are you going to be in a hotel or are you going to have a place or how, how to go about doing this? So th- almost right away, we do dining out strategies and how to get out in the world and mm-hmm. make this part of your life. Yeah. And the accountability sessions are fantastic. Yeah. It's where the rubber hits the road. Mm-hmm. I've, mm-hmm. I've thought about just having the app being kind of a, a self-driven mm-hmm. thing that people mm-hmm. could do on their own, but it just doesn't have the success rate of when you need to show up, mm-hmm. be accountable and have that touchstone. But there's also then like today, there was a coffee talk session. There are these different opportunities to show up for some extra education on different topics. And you've come to a number of those. They've been fabulous. Yeah. Yes. And after the reboot, have you uh, stayed on the reboot life and been able to still continue to get a lot of the benefits of having those resources available to you? Absolutely. And and I I keep going back to the recipes because- You know, you kind of, you learn so much by doing a recipe that you Mm -hmm. can translate into the next recipe. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I would say is that in that group call, not only do I have the 15 or 20 minutes, but it's really helpful to listen to other people. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I've learned a lot from the journey you're, you're going on with other people, not necessarily that they have the same issues as me, but again, I, I, a really good learning opportunity. So, yeah. Well, that sounds like it was, it was a good fit for you and I'm glad it was. I mean, I felt like you got a lot out of it, but I, I appreciate you talking to people or maybe looking at the program and thinking, should I do it? What would you say to someone who's looking at the program? What would you advise them? I would definitely say it's worthwhile <clears throat> to, um, to get all that information and to have you to process it. You, you know, one of the things, Sheila, is that you were always available. And that's remarkable, you know, that you you were always there to help take this the next step. And, and so I would say, if you want, what I would say to somebody is if you want both the information and the person to process that information with, um, it's a great program. It, you know, you certainly don't feel like you're doing it alone. And that makes all the difference, I think, in things like weight loss and and change, just, you know, transformational change. It's, it's really hard to do it on your own. And as much as we might think, oh, I'll just take this and I'll, I'll implement it. There's a world of difference when you're doing it with mm. you. So I would definitely say that's worth the price of admission. Oh, well, well, thank you. That, that means the world. It really does because you were in it and you were, you were the total rebooter. You stuck mm-hmm. with it. You came back after a couple different times of, of restarting the program and just jumped right in and mm-hmm. got to work and rolled up your sleeves and used the app with all of the lessons and all of, you know, the, everything that it offered. So Thank you so much. Is there anything else you wanted to add or was that everything? Uh, I would just say thank you for being, you know, so, um, so wise, I think, and so helpful and supportive and, and so knowledgeable. I mean, that, that, that knowledge is, is invaluable. So thank you. And I'm, I'm so happy that I got to be on the program and I'm so happy that you and I will continue to have a relationship. I look forward to knowing you for a very long time. Me too. (laughs) Give my best to your family. Thank you, Risa. And congratulations on your reboot. I can't wait to see where you go with it from here. Thank you. You take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.